Hi, I'm Melissa. And I'm Tyrone. And we both work at the UCSD Bookstore. And in June, we're going to be graduating with you. Today we're here to explain the cap and gown rental process, show you how to wear a cap and gown, as well as answer a few questions that you may have about commencement. The first thing you'll need is your student ID number to pick up your commencement ticket, which will look something like this. On one side of the, and be sure to bring it to the ceremony. On one side of the ticket, be sure to fill out all the information and to spell out your name phonetically so the reader will be able to pronounce your name correctly during the ceremony. On the reverse side of the ticket, there will be information on the arrival time, seating, and parking. Your friends and family don't need a ticket to attend the ceremony, and the seating will be on a first-come, first-served basis. In the event that you do lose your ticket, the UCSD bookstore is unable to replace it. You must directly go to your college and have them resubmit your information so that you can come back to the UCSD bookstore and pick up a new one. Now that you have your commencement ticket, gown sizing is simple. All you need to know is your height. And the cap will be available in two sizes. And be sure to wear your tassel on the right side. There are two optional regalia pieces. The first is the memory sash. Simply put it over your shoulder like this. If you're graduating with honors, you can purchase an optional honor cord. Simply put it over your shoulder, just like how you did with the memory sash. And now, I'm ready for graduation. Yay! Once you have your commencement ticket and cap and gown, you're all set. Congratulations, you guys. We'll, we'll see, see you there. there.